okay, we had quite a few requests regarding the making or the doing of sample boards. Today we have some 2 by 10 inch fur that we're going to dry. I've selected the two sample boards that we're going to use. just want to show you the cuts that I've made here. I've cut about 7 inches from the end, so as you can see this board has already started drying out a little bit. So I cut out a little piece here, and in the center of the board I cut another piece. This last end off as well because it's probably started drying already. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna weigh this board, we're gonna weigh this board, and these two pieces we're gonna oven dry until they don't lose weight anymore. So we'll be recording the weight before and the weight after, and then we'll just do the calculation, which I'll show to you in a slide, to determine the exact moisture content of these boards when we put them in today. This is just the one board, I've got another board to be putting in the other stack basically the same um, these two pieces we're gonna put into the stack um, this is the one way you can do it um, is to put it into the stack like that so that it is in the in the airflow all the time if we were doing hardwoods we would probably cut in cut the board um, in fact, I'm going to inboard these boards just before we start the kiln. We go around to the other side. That's the one way to do the sample board is to put it into the side of the stack. The other way is to arrange your stickers in such a way that you can slide the board into the end of the, of the stack. In side loading kilns, this is not always a uh, practical way to do it, but when you're on a track kiln, this is probably the best way to do it. Okay, so we've got our pieces out of the sample boards and I've had them in a little oven that we uh, baked it basically at 220 degrees Fahrenheit overnight and then we waited again uh, until and we baked it until it didn't lose any weight anymore. So it started out at 336 grams, it went down to 260 and there it stopped losing weight. So from the calculations, which I will show you in a bit, you can calculate what was your initial moisture content, and then you can calculate from that what your sample board that's in the kilns, uh, uh, current moisture content is, and when you measure it as you progress, you can calculate also where you are during the drying process. All right, so after we have baked our sample pieces, which we've cut from the sample boards, until it doesn't lose any moisture anymore and we can calculate what the initial moisture content was we've also put our our sample pieces into the kiln and once a day preferably early in the morning when you come in or whenever it suits you but try to do it at the same time every day you go into the kiln take out your sample boards and you're going to weigh them and you record the weight into a little table or maybe on an excel spreadsheet and you have all the little um a formula that's already in there so it will calculate for you what your moisture loss is what your current moisture content is in terms of what it was worked out or calculated using the oven dry method this is the most accurate method to do it uh, and it will tell you exactly where you are in your moisture content so after i've taken some of my sample boards out i'm going to show you here this is my sample board there's my little scale we're using a, a digital kitchen scale. It's very accurate, accurate to one, one, um, one gram. So I'll be weighing my boards, making sure that it's zero before we start. And I'll weigh my boards, punch it into my formula. It will give me where our moisture content is at the moment. What I like to do when your moisture content has reached target according to the sample board method is to take a normal moisture meter and just go and measure on the board you know when you send out the timber to the client they will not necessarily do a sample board method again or bake it to, to get the oven dry mass they'll probably use a normal moisture meter to test it so it's good for reference purposes just to check it with a moisture meter to see where you are now on the specific piece i've already done it you see there i've uh, i've had my pin meter in and it measured 11.8 I measured it about 12 inches from the end of the, of, of the board um, 
So I'm happy with the moisture content. The sample board method uh, shows more or less the same moisture content. But this is what the client's going to get when he measures it. As promised, here is a quick summary and the formula to use to calculate all the different values. Step 1. Cut oven dry sample pieces from the selected sample board, weigh and record it. Take these pieces and bake it in a small oven at about 220 Fahrenheit until they stop losing weight. This will signify that those pieces are now at 0% moisture content or at oven dried moisture content. Take the formula below and calculate the initial moisture content of these pieces. Step 2. Weigh and record the wet mass of the kiln sample boards. Insert these boards into the kiln and run the kiln. Use the formula below to calculate what the oven dry weights of the sample boards will be if they were dry to 0% moisture content. This value will be reused in step 3. Step 3. Weigh and record the weight loss on a daily basis. Use these values to calculate the current moisture content of the sample board using the formula below. It's always good to take the formulas, put them in a spreadsheet. It just makes the calculation a lot easier. If you are working with very wet timber with an initial moisture content of 60% or greater, repeat steps 1 to 3 when your samples reach approximately 25 to 30% and recalculate recal or recalibrate your initial values. Remember, the more representative your samples are of the load, the more accurate your results will be. We used small pieces of timber because our scale can only handle up to 5 kilograms. But the bigger you use, the better. The key is accuracy. Very important, when you're done, check your boards with an accurate moisture meter and compare it to your calculated values. This will also guide you to whether you need to recalibrate your initial oven dry moisture content or not. Remember, the client will probably also use a moisture meter to check the timber and not necessarily the oven dry method. Thank you for watching. If you would like a spreadsheet that includes all the formulas already, please send me an email. Until next time, remember to source straight and dry flat.